Okay, we're at Ed and Dana's house. My name is Sarah. I'm here to talk to any beings of the white light only. Can you please get that thing out of my face? You're not allowed to attach yourself to me in any kind of way or anybody in here. We've simply come here to communicate with you. I'm holding a pair of sticks in my hand that you can manipulate and move around. I can ask you a series of uh, questions and you can answer by moving these wide apart that will indicate a no and sticking them across just like this and that would indicate the answer is yes. Stick them straight across to center that means uh, another question is coming for somebody to come communicate with you. I'm asking for Rufino to come to step forward. The guy that used to live here that took his own life. Tag. Can you come and talk to me through the use of these sticks? I don't mean you any disrespect or any harm. I simply want to communicate with you and see if you're still here. Center, center, call his name. Rufino, are you here with me? Cross for yes, wide apart for no. No. Okay, center, center, center. To validate, I'm not talking to Rufino. Okay. Center. Ask if that was the person you're talking to now that was talking to me in the bedroom while I was recording. Is this the same person that was talking to Eric a little while ago while he was recording? Okay. Yes. Center. Male or female. Are you a man? Center. Are you upset with the homeowner? Hold on. Are you here by yourself? Are you alone? Okay. No. Center. Are there more than two of you here? Are there more than two with you? Sometimes they're not aware of one another because they're on different, like, Dimension. Frequencies, Frequencies or dimensions. Or... No. Okay, so it's two of them. Planes. Is the other one a woman? The other soul that's with you, is, is it a woman? No. Center. To validate, it is you and one other man. Yes. Center. Do you remember your name? Yes. Okay. Center. Center. Are you angry with the homeowners? No. Center. Are you upset with the construction? Are you upset with the construction on this land? Yes. Same answers I was getting. Are you upset with the construction after the fire? No. Okay. Ask them if they were buried across the street. Are you buried on this land? Yes. Center. Ask me if they used to live here. 
Did you used to live in this area? You and your family? Yes. What about this house? Well, this house is in your construction. You mean this land? This house is this 40 house years is 50 old. This house is 50 years old. Oh, wow. Did you used to live in a specific house? No. Does his family still live around here? Is that why he's around here? I think he was just buried on the land. Does your family still live in this area? Yes. Wow. If we could get a name, we can literally go to the tombstones and see. Like Was this house built over an old cemetery? Is this house built over an old cemetery? Yes. Center. Are you buried under the house? Are you buried under the house? Yes. Are you still buried under the house? Is your body still buried under this house? Yes. How can I do that? Just built over. Let them know that if we say their name, we might be able to hear them. If you tell us your name, my name is Sarah. I would love to hear your name. If you tell us your name, we will be able to hear you. I would love to hear your voice. You want to try doing that? Feel free to use my energy for the sole purpose of communicating. You also have permission to use my energy. There's two devices on the bed pick, kicking out energy for you to use. Where are you standing right now? Okay. Thank you. Can you go over there to the dresser, the black dresser to the right of Dana? Can you put your hand over that green light and make that light up? The one closest to Dana. We can't harm you. We'll just let us know that you are willing to communicate with us. We just want to make sure that it's actually you talking using the dowsing rods from Sarah. Can you go over there where that green light is closer, closest to the homeowner, Dana? There's a green light. Can you put your hand in front of that and wave it? It can't hurt you. It's just that it just detects your energy. It detects how strong your energy is. See if you can light it all the way up. I'm going to point to it right there. Can you light that up for us? Go ahead. Come closer. Come up to it. Try as hard as you can and make that light up. It's not hard. Some spirits can light it all the way up. All six lights. Or five lights. Can you do it? Sarah asked if they tried. Did you try doing it? Did you try doing what Eric asked you to do? No. 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 <laughs> Center. <clears throat> Would you like to try to set off this one? This one not only will light up but it's radiating its own energy that you can use do you trust us do you trust what we say when we say it cannot harm you no can you come closer to this one here and light it up for us we just are here our job is just to prove that the afterlife exists because as if you remember when you're alive half the people don't believe so that's what we do. All this does is register energy. Nothing here. We've never hurt you. Can they hear us? Can you hear us? Yes. 
Jesus. Center. Would you go over there and touch that, that if I touched it with my hand? Can you see us? Okay. Can if I touch, touch it with my hand, would you touch it? Would you touch it if Eric touches it first? No. No. Not interested. <laughs> Not interested in that. What if Vince gives you a lollipop? Are you standing next to Vince right now? Yep. Touch Vince. The only thing, Vince? Okay. Yeah. Tie. Chills. That's it. Did you touch Vince? Do you usually stay in this room? Can you see the layout of this room the, for what it is? Yes. Center, are you the man that the homeowner saw when she was sleeping? Did you stand over her? Yes. Was he trying to frighten her? Center, were you trying to scare her? No. Does she know him? Center. Oh, wait. It was no. right under the house. Yeah. yeah. Were you curious as to who she was? Yes. Center. Do they know if the gentleman that died in the explosion, is he here? Are you aware of the gentleman who died in the explosion? Are you aware of him? No. He might not be here. He might have moved yeah. on. He mm. might have moved on. Yep. Does the homeowner have anything to fear about that box she brought into this house? Yes. Was the box meant to house something negative so that the next person opens it and gets stuck with it? Wait, how do you want me to phrase that? I just phrased it. Did she did it release negative energy by opening okay. it? Okay. Did the homeowner release any negative energy by opening that box? Yes. Center. Will Is that energy dissipate on its own? Or does she need to be proactive? Will that energy go away on its own? Or sh yeah. will the energy go away on its own? I don't think he knows. He says no. Do you want us to try and get rid of the energy? Is the energy is the energy bothering you, the spirit? Is the energy out of the box bothering you? Yes. Wow. Is the energy in the box once a human entity? Was the energy in the box ever a human entity that walked this earth? Big no. Okay. Is the energy in the box a construct of the mind. Somebody conjured it up that and created it. Hand just twitched. Is the energy that was in a box created, created by uh, someone's mind, by thoughts? Through magic. Like Santeria. Like, like a religion? No. Did somebody capture and use the box as a vessel? Did somebody use the box as a vessel? To bind the entity. To bind the entity. To capture the entity? Yep. Yes. Center. Do we have the capability of Where'd you get that box? Which, it? where? What, this neighborhood? No. No. Do you still have it? No. no it's gone. Dollar score. <laughs> Do we have what, Bonnie? Um, the capability of getting rid of getting it. Rid of it. Do we have the capability of getting rid of the energy that's in the box? 
Well, I'll tell you what. We'll try. That's, that's an S. That's, that's good. Center. I'll tell you what. We will we'll do something about it and do we'll you, help you. Do but, you want us to try to get rid of that energy that was in a box? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, you got to do something for us. Put your hand next to the REM pod and make that go off so we know we're actually talking to somebody. And this is not a figment of our imagination. Yes, that box right there. Exactly. Come sit on the bed with me. I'm going to do it with my hand to show you it doesn't hurt you. Nothing. It doesn't do anything. All it does is know when something's touching it. Okay, now you do it. Spirit. If you tell us your name, we won't have to call you Spirit anymore. He's pointing at it, but he doesn't want to touch it. It can't hurt you. We're not here to hurt you. We've never hurt anybody on any investigation. We've done hundreds. Just We're curious validate. about you the same way you were curious about her sleeping. That's the same way we feel about you. Okay, you don't have to touch the antenna. Just go wave your hand in front of the... It's just a microwave meter. It just measures leaky microwaves. That green light over there. Make you the green light go off. microwave water. is? <laughs> That was my hand. I just microwave is for cooking hot dogs and warming up coffee these days. So go touch it. The Bible says, don't be afraid. You're religious, aren't you? So don't be afraid. Go over there and touch it. Are you religious? Yes. Most ghosts are. Center. Did you see the last homeowner do that to himself in a garage? Were you here as well when they lived here? Yes. Is this the male or female? Huh? Is it a male or a female? Man, there's two men in here. There's him and another man. Well, that he's aware of. Am I still talking to the man that Eric talked to as well? Yes. Are they over or under 50? You mean when they died? Did you just laugh? Who looks I like? said sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just the look on your face. <laughs> I'm like, you're not contacting someone from Australia here, like, <laughs> through Skype. You yes, know? Yeah, I know, okay. <laughs> not, not Do you part your hair down the middle? Dating rods. It's not. <laughs> no, I'm going somewhere. What a great idea. Dating dowsing. Dowsing. When you passed away, were you over 50 years old? When you passed away, were you over 50? Yes. <laughs> were, you, were you gay in life? Very good. Like happy? Did you have a happy life? I will not answer, like ask that, Eric. Good for you. Could you be happy with Vince? <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear Eric? Unfortunately. You need to go time out, Eric. Yep, that's Eric. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're so stupid. Now I'm going to get a tetanus See shot. I gotta put up with all these years. Do you want Eric to leave this room? Of course not. And it's if you want Eric to leave this room, pull his hair. If you want Eric to leave this room, make one of these boxes light up. <laughs> no, really, do you want Eric Then there'll be no room? humor. He's just pointing at you. Is there a little three and a half foot tall entity with me? Okay, we're done here. <laughs> Eric? Is there anything we can do to help you have a peace of mind? Good question. Yes. What is it you're seeking? Why are you still here? Do you need forgiveness? We just need to use a spirit board and get a two-way conversation going on. Eric? We could get the um, spirit box. I'll do it. Okay. Do you want people to honor you still? I didn't because you don't have a gravestone anymore? 
You still want to be honored? I don't know if it was just me. Yep. Oh, but I got that too. Was your gravestone moved and they did not dig up your body but said they did and built the house over it? Yes. That's very typical. So they charged the state for moving your body but left it under there and said they moved it. So that's why you're angry? Is that why you're angry? Center. I don't think he's angry. He's just like... Are you angry about them leaving your body and they're moving your tombstone? And not moving your body with it? Yes. Yep, I felt that. Center. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break. Please stay, stay here with us. End of session.